We have in, in the basement down here the world's best lasers, and it's not because we bought them, it's because we invented them and built them. We've got the world's coldest temperatures, so we can get at the very exotic physics that happens at the world's lowest temperatures. It's not because we went out and bought a refrigerator, it's because we invented new methods of refrigeration. And it's always the spirit that we can do it. Um, that defines Jella, that we can always think about a very difficult scientific question, but somehow we can always come up with an in-house technical solution. Over 50 years, so much interesting stuff has come out of Jilla. It's been such a good thing for the country, it's been such a good thing for Boulder, for the state. And I think about all the really cool technical ideas that have been absorbed into commercial products. Medical science. Communication. Detecting bombs. Precision measurements of things. Detecting dangerous chemicals. Timekeeping. And as a practical consequence, if you have a clock down extremely precisely and you can control how the information, say, from satellite coming down to the Earth, then you can have, in, pra in practice, you can have all the cars all the trains, all the airplanes fly themselves, drive themselves. You don't need people to be behind the wheels. Jilla is really unusual in that it has sort of two parents, uh, the University of Colorado and the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which is a federal agency. And the sort of synergy has been really something, and it's sort of behind the secret of Jilla's success this last half century. I think the beautiful combination of having an open scientific mind, being able to explore things in, in the new frontiers, but also have the confidence of in your own instrument making capabilities in-house. So that kind of uh, inventor kind of creativity has been a big part of what we've done here.